Hello and welcome to the Kudo Camera Company live stream on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about the essential um, camera repair tools. So um, when I first started started uh, started out repairing cameras, I, I looked for uh, the smallest screwdriver I could find, and I found out pretty quickly those aren't actually small enough, and and actually need quite a bit more than than a screwdriver, but. Um, luckily, they're all accessible and uh, pretty easy if you know what to look for. So, let's go over a couple of the different uh, tools that that we have. So, the first one are um, a Japanese industrialized standard screwdrivers. We've got those. Uh, you need a good solid blower. Uh, guitar picks. Guitar picks are always handy. All right. We've got a, a spanner wrench. Um, this will help you get into most lenses. And, um, and then an occasional uh, dent removal tool for the uh, filter threads. So these are some pretty, pretty key ones, um, as well as a flashlight. So uh, let's take a look here. So the first thing you see here are these Japanese industrialized standard uh, screwdriver set. And these come in um, different sizes. You have uh, Phillips head and flat. Um, the thing that's important about these are that um, they're Japanese industrialized standard for the Phillips head. And that's a little bit different than a traditional Phillips head uh, screwdriver that you have um, due to the geometry, the edge geometry. So on a typical Phillips head screwdriver, it's going to be rounded on the edge. With these, you actually have um, a really nice solid point. So it's really nice and flat edges. This is going to keep you from stripping out any screws, especially older screws um, that you really need to get in and bear down on. Um, one thing that's important to note is that these shouldn't be used as a poking or prodding tools. That's why this guy's a little short now. It's uh, I was trying to use this to, to pick at something and well, that didn't work out so well. Um, but they're really nice um, flat heads and Phillips head. The brand that I have um, came recommended from a friend and it's called Vessel. And I, I find that they're very useful, very useful to have. Um, the next thing that I recommend is, um, let's see, in order of importance, let's say, I think this one here, this is the, uh, the vacuum pad set. So the pen is muddier than the sword. So this spanner wrench is gonna help you get into a lot of lenses, but the danger of the spanner wrench, we'll click back to the macro shot here. You have these metal pieces here. So these metal parts, if they scratch up against the glass, they can cause quite a bit of damage. Um, and if you can avoid using those and go for the vacuum pads, that's really the way to do it. So um, you, you're going to need the spanner wrench from time to time, but these vacuum pads are super handy. Um, so basically, they come in all different sizes. They nest into each other. And you can take them apart, and you use it like, let's see. If, if we need to get, say, into this lens, well, that was a little big, so we just kind of work until we find the right size. And then you can get it on there and you can twist. And it'll let you get off the nameplate or um, get off the glass depending on what you're doing. So when you're trying to get into the, the back, it, if it's a little deep, you know, you might need to use a spanner wrench to get into these. So it's definitely important to have the spanner wrench. Um, and, and sometimes you really need it, but these uh, vacuum pads, you can't go wrong with having these. These um, were one of the things you don't really realize you need it until maybe there's a, there are a few types of lenses where you, you really can't even use a spanner wrench because maybe there's no divots to, to lock in the threads. Um, the next thing we can talk about is the spanner wrench. So the spanner wrench has two sides. Um, one side has these, these points and another side has flat. So sometimes on a lens you'll see uh, small holes that'll let you get in that way. Um, so these are adjustable this way and you just tighten it up when you're ready. And so you've got that side and as well as this side here. 
The danger of using this tool is that it has a tendency to slip. So if you're using it around glass and you're putting a lot of torque and then you slip, you can scratch the glass. And I've scratched my hand uh, doing that quite a bit too, which makes it kind of a, a double whammy. So it can, be, it can be a painful tool to use in a lot of ways. Um, definitely it's very sharp and it can scratch up the glass pretty bad if you do hit, um, hit the glass at all. Um, so the next one that we have here are guitar picks. The guitar picks are, um, I use them a lot to get underneath sometimes um, some of the nameplates, uh, this isn't an actual example, but I'll just kind of show you what, what happens. You have to get into the lens by popping up the nameplate. So if you kind of work these underneath it, you can have um, the main one where I do that a lot is on the Canon FD. Um, these will actually go right underneath there and pop it up. So um, these you'll see these definitely being used in quite a few different repair videos. So please uh, get yourself some guitar picks. If you're not a guitar player and you don't have them around, uh, you're going to need to order them. And if you are a gu guitar player, you probably don't have them around anyways because I think guitar picks go missing all the time. Um, and one of the last things that I always have is a nice strong flashlight. So this is a um, LED flashlight that has two ways to look at it. But this is a great way to inspect the lens. Um, if you're looking down into a lens, you can, you can almost never tell what's going on just by looking at it. But if you shine um, some, some light into the back, you can kind of see in there a lot more. So with uh, rating haze, every time I go through and I rate haze on a lens, I always put the flashlight into the back so you can see actually what's going on. Um, sometimes the lens can act like a bit of a magnifier, so just make sure you're not gonna blind yourself. Um, but with these tools, you can get a lot done. Um, if you have any questions about them and how to use them, just let me know. I'd be glad to, uh, to answer any questions you have. Um, this is the, uh, it's, it's, there's not a great name for this tool because it's really only used in lens repair. So I would call it a, um, you know, a filter, it's like a filter wrench or a filter threader. Um, it's not, it doesn't thread it. It will just help you if you have, um, your threads get uh, dented. So if this were to get dropped on the ground and the threads for the, the filter get dead, dented, um, you can use this tool to lock in and basically you tighten it and you can stretch it back out at the end. So it basically, it does a pretty good job, but I think you have to have a lot of patience to use this tool. Um, it's kind of, it's one of those things where you have to do quite a few small adjustments over and over again to try to get it to, to go on straight. And if you're lucky at the end, you'll be able to get a filter um, back on. So that's kind of how you know when you have it straight enough. Um, you can tell a lot of times that it's gone through some damage after you repair it using that tool, but it's still a good way to go. So, let's see. so as far as the tools uh, for the job, um, generally you don't need any of these. These are good to have around in, in general, but you know what, what we're looking at are um, some Japanese industrialized standard screwdrivers. Uh, Phillips head and uh, flathead. I recommend Vessel brand for these. I think brand definitely matters on the screwdrivers. Um, vacuum pads. I get these from um, Japan Hobby Tool on eBay. And they ship them out of Japan. They get to the United States pretty quickly. These are a must have for uh, getting into lenses without scratching. Um, you've got your lens spanner wrench. Another essential tool uh, if, if you want to get... Uh, get into a lens, you're probably going to need to have these at some point. Uh, guitar picks, can't go wrong there. And you've got a flashlight. And I, I think I already touched on this, uh, you know, in this review portion. So the uh, this thingamabob, which takes the bends out of uh, filter threads. This is really useful to have. I shipped this in from um, Japan as well. So between all these things, if, uh, if you can't get your lens fixed, um, there's still some more items that you could probably use. We can talk about uh, helicoid grease in the future, um, maybe about uh, using things like Zippo letter fluid and 
um, all sorts of, uh, of different ways to, to help with lens repair. But for now, I think this is a pretty good start. If you have any questions, please reach out. And uh, as always, check us out at kudocameracompany.com to see all of our eBay listings and Amazon listings. And uh, happy photography endeavors with you all. Take care.